Hello, this is Ahmed Shalabi. I'm working as a network security engineer. In this video, we are going to look at how to configure policy based routing with IPSLA using FlexConfig. For our next setup, we have FTD and FMC, both are running 6.2.3. The FTD has two outside interfaces. Each one of them is connected to a router, which provide internet access. First interface, which is VPN Otis 1, is connected to ISP 1, which in this case is the primary ISP. It has a metric of 1, and thus all inside subnets are accessing the internet using this link. The second interface, which is VBN OTIS 2, is connected to ISP 2, which I use PBR to make it as a primary link for some defined subnets. And if the link became down, they are going to use ISP 1. For internal network, I have two subnets. 70, which is connected using sub-interface VBN iTest 1 and subnet 80, which is connected using sub-interface VBN iTest 2. Using VBR, I'll enforce subnet 70 to use ISP 2. Now, the only way to achieve policy-based routing is to use FlexCom. First, I'll create a default route under device, routing, then static routing. I click add. As I said before, the ISP1 will be the primary ISP with metric 1. So I'll choose the interface to be OTIS1. Any IP default. And the gateway would be. As 50 to 50 to 50 to 1 with metric 1 and click OK. And then I'll add the secondary ISP, it would be OTEST 2, then any IP before. The metric would be 2, and the gateway would be 60, 60, 61. Okay, and save. Now I have two default routes, and the preferred one is to use ISP1 with gateway 50501. Now, to configure policy based routing, I have to configure an access list for the subnet I use in PPR. It will be under Object, Object Management, Access List, Extend. I already have an access list called 70 Test, in which I declare Subnet 70. And also I have access list called 80 Test for Subnet 80. Then we have to configure a root map to use with the flex config. I already have one called test. I have sequence 10, which pointing to access list of subnet 70 under uh, IB4, choose extended, then uh, the access list. And in sequence 820, I have the uh, access list of subnet 80. Then let's define the flex config object. Under flex config text object, I'll create uh, two objects for the gateway, one for 50 and the other for uh, 60. I already have one called uh, 50 gateway with IP of 50 to 50 51 and the other one is called 60 gateway with IP of 60 to 60 to 60 to 1 now for failover I should have tracking so I'll create uh, two IP SLA, one to monitor the link with uh, ISP1, and the other one to monitor uh, the link with ISP2. Uh, 
under object SLA monitor. I'll give it a name. Let's say uh, 60. I'll use it to track uh, ISP2, which has 60, 60, 61 as a uh, my gateway. Uh, the frequency will be 5. I give it a parameter. It will be 500, 500. Uh, the monitor address, let's say it would be 8 to 8 to 8 to 8. The zone would be VBMO test 2. And I create the other SLA to track ISP1. The name would be 5. Uh, the same parameter. The same address. The zone would be VBN of this one. Now I have two SLA monitors. SLA5, which monitor ISP1, link using uh, Google IP. And SLA6, so let's correct that to be 6. Okay. Uh, SLA6 which monitor ISP2 link using uh, Google IP. Till now I've configured uh, static routing and I've created uh, a root and root map and uh, SLA monitor. So let's let's deploy it. Let's deploy it to see what will happen. Okay, deploy. And now the deployment uh, is successful. Let's open the command line and enter the diagnostic CLR. Okay, the system uh, support diagnostic CLI and enter uh, enable and then enter. Let's do show, in, show running configuration uh, SLA monitor. It displays or all configured uh, SLA monitors. And all of these are previously configured, and I will not find uh, five and six, which is, which I just created from FMC. And do show track. Uh, this was also previously configured, and uh, it's down now. Okay, let's do show run configuration track. No five or six. All uh, these are previously configured, and actually I can remove them using uh, flex config. Just enter uh, the command no sla motor one or two or whatever, and not track uh, the number. Okay, so let's do back tracer to see the behavior of traffic. Back tracer input. Some mm, seventy will enter from. I test one. Okay. Let's choose I test one. And then I see B. And type, type and put. Let's go down. This is the source IP, in the type and the code, uh, and the destination would be date, date to date. And the result shows that the uh, input interface is test one, and because of the default route, the output interface is all test one, which is ISP one, which in this case I'll change it to be all test two using PBR. Now let's configure our uh, flex config from object. Flex config object. I already configured it. I named it uh, test uh, PBR. Okay, let's remove it. 
Okay. Uh, first, uh, write root map and the name of uh, the root map variable. Uh, actually, this is how to insert it. Okay, I remove uh, this one. Just uh, choose insert. And then, uh, and then uh, root map. I choose my root map and I'll give it a name. I named it uh, root dash map dash test. And I'll type this in. And sequence number written, which is associated with uh, some series. And then set IP next to hub, verify ability. And I'll choose the gateway. Okay, it would be 60. This is how to insert it with metric one. And that's because I want subnet 70 to use uh, uh, ISP2. Uh, so the gateway must be 60, 60, 61. Uh, and track, uh, let's give it any random number now. Yeah, uh, and uh, I'll insert the backup uh, bus to use gateway one. I'll insert it the uh, same way. And the metric would be two. And track uh, any random number now. And I'll do the same with uh, submit 18. Okay, actually, I don't need it uh, now. And I'll apply uh, this policy to uh, the inside interface. Okay, save. Okay, then under device, I'll uh, create the flex config policy. Okay, under device, flex config. I'll create uh, the policy and assign it uh, to our FTD. Okay, this is my policy now. Yeah. Then I choose uh, test uh, PPR and save. So let's deploy. After the deployment is successful, let's open the CLI. Mm, show run track, nothing happened. Packet tracer, mm, the same result. Show run SLA monitor, also the same result, nothing is new. Let's do show run root map. It shows that the root map is deployed, but I set track 7 and track 6, which are not configured yet. So the trick here is to have track object, and to achieve that, I should link the static root with SLA object, so that the track object is going to be created. So I'll use this SLA object with my uh, static root. Under device uh, routing, then uh, static root for the gateway sixty. I'd use SLA number uh, six. And with uh, 50, I'll use 5. Uh, save it. And I'll not modify the uh, flex config now. Okay. And uh, deploy. Okay, let's see what happened so far. Mm, nothing new with the uh, root map and uh, SLA monitor. Uh, great, now I have uh, new SLA, uh, SLA5 and uh, SLA6. Then uh, show run uh, track. Uh, great, 
Now, track 8 is associated with the SLA number 5, and track 9 is associated with the SLA number 6. Then show track. And yes, the two tracks are up. And back tracer. Uh, it's still using ISP1. And uh, this is true because in uh, flex config configuration, I used two tracks that, that are not exist. Instead, I should use track 8 and track 9. So let's modify the configuration. First, I'll use uh, track 9 because I want to monitor uh, gateway 2, and track 9 is associated with uh, the gateway 2. And then I use track uh, 8. Uh, and uh, the same here. Mm, 8 and uh, 9. Uh, save. Then uh, deploy. Now let's verify. Uh, root map uh, is using now the right tracks track uh, 8 and track 9 and show track the two tracks are up and uh, back tracer uh, greet it's now using the right interface, which is uh, OTS2. Now, Submit70 is going out from OTS2, which means uh, they are using ISP2 now. Let's verify the failover by shutting down the ISP2. Uh, in the router, I bring the interface down. Okay, let's uh, test. Show track. Good, the track is down now. And back tracer. <coughs> and now Sub70 is using uh, OTest1. I'll bring the interface up again and uh, test. No, shut down. The track is still down. Take time. Now it's up. Uh, okay. And now they return using OTS2. And now we've completed our policy based routing and tested it. Thank you for viewing.